Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about the Paris Sale once again. Some very, very silly stuff has been happening with the Paris Sale, so, so it's time to take another look. But before that, a word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website you can use to trade in some of your old skins that you don't want anymore for some brand new skins to spice up your inventory. Even if the skin you want is on a trade hold, it'll go straight to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. If you use code Nalo on Skins Monkey, you'll get two different bonuses. First is a $5 trade bonus, and the second is a 5% deposit bonus on top of the deposit bonus they already give you. It's super easy to withdraw the items from Skins Monkey in an instant. As you can see, I have all my trades right here. And even if you don't want to pick up some skins on Skins Monkey, they also have daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free. So what are you waiting for? Go check out Skins Monkey with the link in the description below. Claim your free bonuses, courtesy of yours truly, and spice up that inventory. Alrighty guys, so if you've been keeping up with Paris, you may have seen some very, very unexplainable prices. And that is what it actually boils down to. It's pretty inexplicable. If we look back at Antwerp and Stockholm, the price trends for those stickers during the sticker sale don't exactly follow very well with what's been happening to Paris, especially if we take a look at the Apex Hollow. Now when the sticker first came out, there weren't too many people that were interested in it. It was just kind of another random sticker, kind of getting lumped in with a lot of the other really nice looking hollows. But after the sticker sale started, a lot of people started buying the Apex Hollow. For the first couple days of the sticker sale, it maintained its price, which makes sense. There's no new supply going on to most of the marketplaces until after seven days. But now those first seven days have officially passed, and the Apex Hollow has only increased in price. Now this of course goes against every single fundamental of the market. We already had a general idea of how popular it was and we knew that there was going to be a mass amount of supply, both of Apex Hollows and also of the Paris capsules themselves, dumped on the third party marketplaces and Steam after the seven day trade hold. But for whatever reason, the Apex Hollow only went up. At the time of this video, it's currently sitting at $12 on Steam, which is really, really odd. But the question is, why exactly is this happening? So here's the explanation that I've come up with. For starters, I think it definitely has something to do with how many more players we have in general. Not necessarily investors, but just players in general. We hit a peak of 1.8 million, which is a lot higher than before CS2. There have been a lot more eyes on CSGO in general. And really, a lot of the potency of these increases can be attributed to the fact that there's just a lot more people playing the game. Even if just some random person is buying an Apex Hollow here or there to slap onto one of their random skins, that's still going to be a factor that is going to drive up the prices when you consider how many people are playing the game and how many people could potentially be doing something like that, even though they're not massively investing. Now that's not to say that people aren't massively investing in Paris either, there definitely are people doing that. The Apex Hollow was one of those stickers that a lot of people had their eyes on prior to the sticker sale beginning, so there was definitely a large amount of people looking to buy into them as fast as possible. And that as well is one of the factors why I think it rose and why a lot of these stickers are maintaining their prices. Now for those of you out there that are a little bit more on the risky side of things, this actually spells pretty good news for you if you're trying to open capsules. Some of the Paris capsules have pretty crazy expected values at this point. They really don't make a lot of sense. The expected value of the Autograph Contenders capsule is literally so high that you pretty much almost profit on every time that you open it. But what about going forward? Well the thing is, the sticker sale lasts for a very long time. This sticker sale could last for two months. And right now we're only about nine or ten days into the sticker sale. So we're definitely at the beginning of it. As the sticker sale progresses, we will get more and more quantity listed every single day. And as prices of the hollows increase, that creates a larger incentive to open more capsules and create more of the hollows. So a lot of the current prices that you see could actually be ticked down in the future, depending on how many people are opening capsules on each given day. Now these prices are obviously pretty unsustainable, and when the Paris sticker sale ends and we kind of get away from this Paris hype, it's hard to say if the prices will be able to stay up. Right now, I would personally say don't buy any of these hollows. You still have a lot of time before the Paris sale ends, so you still have time to reevaluate if you actually want to buy into these stickers. Every single fundamental would point towards these stickers decreasing in price over time, so I would go ahead and wait it out. But at the same time, there are literally people buying Apex Hollows and then immediately selling them right after. It's basically come to the point where we have a bunch of blind chickens running around in the dark. At this point though, anything can happen, and unfortunately I can't give you anything too strict. There's just too much random stuff happening that ignores a lot of the fundamentals of the market. But that's my interpretation on things. Personally, I am going to be investing in Paris, that's something that I wanted to do prior prior to the sale even starting, and I'll personally be waiting and evaluating prices as the sale continues before I decide to buy into anything. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of all these events, and how you think it's going to shape up as the Paris sticker sale continues. I'm going to be taking a quick break for the next week, because I'm going to be on vacation, so I'll see you guys after that. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it, it helps me massively and costs you absolutely nothing. Subscribe to the channel for the best CS investing tips anywhere else on YouTube. Check out my Twitter and my Discord server with the links down in the description below. If you have any further questions, or you want to suggest me to make a video, you can always do that. I'll never charge you anything to ask me questions. And be sure to check out Skinsmonkey. Thanks guys, see you next time. Peace.